Today I want to show you how you can connect a digital SLR to a tablet using the LAVA SimulCharge USB host mode adapter. A tablet can be a very powerful interface to a camera like a DSLR. It can tether so you can control the camera's functions. It can give you remote shooting and it can also um, allow you to uh, do things like interval shooting and time-lapse photography as well as um, providing a GPS interface to a camera that might not have a built-in GPS and providing a wireless interface uh, whereby the camera can upload automatically as you shoot to th something like a Dropbox or share it into email. In any case, um, I'll start with the camera itself. I'll just take its USB cable and plug it into the camera and the other end of the cable into the Lava Simul Charge adapter. I can turn on the tablet and plug the adapter into the tablet. At that point the tablet connects and detects the adapter and when I turn on the camera, it will detect the camera as well and offer the applications that are relevant to the camera. In this case, the application is DSLR Dashboard and uh, it's a free and powerful application available on the Google Play Store. So if we take that application and go in, This is the interface to the DSLR dashboard app and what it's allowing me to do is control camera functions. You can see that the ISO setting for the camera is ISO 400 here and here. I can change that setting and it changes immediately on the camera. So the tablet is a functioning interface to control camera functions. A tablet is a functioning interface to control camera functions such as RAW and JPEG aperture settings, exposure settings, white balance, and, uh, and so forth. You can also use it up here to, um, to choose your modes, manual and so on. So what I would set with my mode dial on the physical camera, I can also control here through the uh, tablet. So if I set the camera, for example, to manual exposure, and leave the ISO at 400. The camera is now in manual mode. Now, all of this is something you could do with a standard OTG cable, but the LAVA Simul Charge cable adapter lets you also inject power to the tablet at the same time it's in host mode using this second port and I can plug my adapter in. Now you'll see that the tablet is actually charging while it's in host mode. And the reason that this is important is because some of the functions of the tablet application such as time-lapse photography need to occur over a long period of time and the camera um, needs to stay on but so does the tablet. And if the tablet was running under battery uh, eventually it would run out. You can power the camera separately if you need to through, um, through that input right there. But uh, in any case, now what you have is a camera with capabilities that are not native to the camera itself. Those are things like time-lapse photography, um, focus bracketing, um, exposure bracketing, uh, interval shooting, and so forth. I won't explain what they are. If you're interested, I'm sure you'll probably sniff it out. In addition, the tablet offers um, a very good interface for uh, remote tethering and shooting. I can take a shot like that, the back of a chair, pictures on a wall, and so on, and 
the tablet makes a very good interface for reviewing photographs much better than the camera's um, own built-in screen. In any case, the real value of the LAVA USB SimulCharge adapter is that the long running functions that the tablet can execute now are able to be carried out with continuing power in USB host mode because the SimulCharge adapter both gives you host mode and gives you power to the tablet. So that's it, the LAVA SimulCharge USB device gives you continuous power in USB host mode or OTG mode as it's sometimes called.